Okay, my friends, this is fabulous news. CERN is going to do photon colliding. They realize that they are doing the same thing that Rod and I have been doing with a Venturi. We have two drums of a Venturi shooting light through it, forcing it to crush. They just accidentally bounce two protons close to each other to create the Casimir effect, which shot out a boson. And here's what it is that they did. And they say it's, it's, it's what they, they really wanted to do, but they just never knew how to do it. They were going to do it a long time ago. The project didn't materialize then. Well, I've been posting about this for years now. Rod and I have been doing this for years. And we're using a Venturi. I'll show you. Okay, first of all, this is what CERN is looking for, is this muons and these electron showers. And I can show you, and I will in a second. This is the muon, and these produce the showers. Together they are a photon, which I will show you, and they're back-to-back -back electrons. That's what electron is. It consists of the muon and the electron. Nobody knew that. Nobody knew the muon was attached to this. They just saw it in the debris that they had, which was thousands and thousands of particles. We're using light, so this is what CERN wants to do, and I think we can help them. Okay, we accelerated light, and that is what CERN wants to see, is the black balls and the white electron showers. Now, how we got to this point was by using a red pulse laser. Very, we did, we did very, you know, inexpensive things. Just pulse red laser. Bip, bip, bip. It accelerated. You can see it accelerated. It was this particle, as I will show you, when it hit the Venturi, which is right there, it created the extreme energy, and these were two drums, which forced the particles to do just what CERN is doing by accident, having them come close to each other by accident. We're forcing them, and we can change the style of this, the materials, the angles, the, everything we can do, all kinds of things here with this. All, this is all new science. And we and this we create these concussive particles. Now I believe this is like the particle they're talking about is 80 gigavolts, where the other one coming in it starts out at megavolts. So it's a whole different level of energy here. And if you could put some, a collector plate here somehow, something that harvests this prior to it recombining with its dark energy, which sort of mediates its energy level, there's a ton of energy here. Just the one quick final thing. That's how it started. That's how it accelerated. That's where it exploded. These are the electron showers that they talk about, the white showers. These are the particles I showed you. That is where they separated. This is, I don't know what the hell this is, and nobody does, but I'm going to tell you something. There's a new thing that's called, you know, there's photons and protons and this and that. Well, there's anions, and that's an anion because that is not either one of those other things that I just showed you which is one of those. And those are the tiniest particles that exist. Those all came from light. And I have them in green, too. It's not just red. They're all the same. They look the same. Here's a green. Right? Same particles. But only they're much more powerful. And I show these coming through the Venturi at the same time, green and red. And the green shows it's extremely powerful compared to the red. Right at the same in concussive point. Anyway, this should be new science right here. All right? Thank you.